Hi everybody, it's Georgina again. I have some important information about Bio 210 for you that I hope helps you be successful in the class this summer. So first of all, it's really important that you know from the beginning what your exam dates are. So we have five lecture exams. Uh, dates are listed out here along with what chapters from the textbook correspond to those exams. Please keep in mind that the Unit 5 exam at the very end of the class has a cumulative section. Okay, that means you can't just completely forget about the Unit 1 material uh, after June 10th. You have to keep that material fresh, have to keep going over it just a little bit so it stays in the back of your mind. The five lecture exams all together make up 60% of your grade. So they're 12% each, all together 60%. We only have two lab exams. Each one is worth 10% for a total of 20%, and those exams are listed here as well. Each one of the exams has a 48-hour window. So it opens at 12.01 a.m. just after midnight on the first date, and it closes at 11.59 p.m. just after the second date. For each one of those five units, there is lecture material that's due midnight, the day before the exam opens. Okay, so these are due at 11.59 on the days before the exam opens. So actually there's only two minutes before when unit one material closes and the unit one exam opens, for instance. Altogether, all of this work makes up 5% of your grade. Okay, now that sounds like a lot of work for a very small amount of grade. I don't disagree with you on that. The purpose of this work is to prepare you for the exams, though. If you aren't reviewing, if you aren't learning this material, exams are going to be really difficult for you. This isn't material that you can read through once or listen through once and have it memorized. Okay, so these worksheets are specifically designed and structured help you learn the material well. In addition to the material that is found in D2L, there are also assignments in Connect, the software that goes along with your workbook. For each one of the 16 chapters that we cover in this course, there is a homework assignment and a quiz in Connect. Altogether, 16 homework assignments and the 16 quizzes add up to additional 5% of your overall course grade. And again, it sounds like a lot of work for a small percentage of your grade, but the logic is the same. This is to prepare you to do well on the exams. It's to help you actually learn the material. Okay, I want to point out to you, it's pretty important, the Unit 3 exam is on, uh, Unit 3 material is due on July 6th. Now, we don't have any assignments due over um, 4th of July week, but July 6th, we're back at it, and that material is due, and then your exam is July 7th and July 8th. So, please, please, please don't wait until the last minute to get that material uh, ready and to be prepared for that exam. Be aware that just because we aren't meeting that week or there won't be new material that week, that you still have things that are going to be due right when we get back. Lab material is due weekly. Instead of having larger chunks due less often, uh, lab material is due every Sunday evening. Um, so we have seven weeks worth of material. You can see it broken out here. Uh, Starred is June 28th, and it's for the same reason. This is due right before July, the 4th of July break, and it's also right around the same time as that lab exam one. The week four material is on lab exam one, so make sure you're well prepared. Don't wait until after you attempt the exam to do the material that's on the exam. So keep those due dates in mind. Altogether, the lab material makes up 5% of your grade. Some of this material is in uh, your lab manual. Some of it is in Connect. And I will send an email each week that makes it really clear where everything is that you're responsible for. Okay, missed exams. So you'll recall we have five lecture exams. 
we already talked about exam five has a cumulative portion. So exam five can replace your lowest exam grade unless exam five is your lowest exam grade. We won't replace anything to bring uh, your overall grade down. So that means if you miss one lecture exam, it's not the end of the world because that exam five grade will replace it. If you get one lecture exam that doesn't go well for you, maybe you're not feeling well that day or you didn't have enough time to, to prepare as you would like to have had, that's okay. Be really prepared for exam five. It'll replace it. Not a problem. If you're in a situation where you absolutely have to miss a second lecture exam, first, please let me know in advance if you can. And second, if you don't let me know in advance, let me know as soon as possible after the exam closes. Um, as I'm new to Piedmont Tech, I'm going to have to figure out what to do in that situation. Uh, but we'll work with you as much as we can if there's a really good reason that you had to miss a second exam. This is a short class. There's a lot going on right now. Um, we've got a lot of cases of COVID-19 in our state. If something's going on for you, please let me know as soon as you can so we can, we can work around it and try to have as minimal an impact on your grade as possible. Lab exams, kind of the same case. Um, there isn't the option to replace one exam with the other since there's only two. But if you know you have to miss a lab exam, please let me know ahead of time if it's at all possible. And if not, let me know as soon as possible after and we'll do everything we can to come up with a solution in that situation. The lecture and lab worksheets and quizzes, those smaller assignments that are generally due on either Sunday evenings or the evening before your um, lecture exams, those are not accepted late. There's really no uh, exceptions for that. And it's mostly because uh, the point value on those is so low that even if you miss a couple, it's not gonna impact your grade very much. So try to get those done because they prepare you for the exams. But if you miss turning one of those in or two over the course of the summer, that's not going to be a huge problem for your grade. It cannot be turned in late. Before each lecture and lab exam, we will have an optional review session. I will send out a time. We'll use the WebEx software to do those. Uh, they're not required. Nothing in this class is required for you to log in at a, a specific time, completely asynchronous. Um, We'll use the format of a Jeopardy game, and the questions that I put in the Jeopardy game will be similar to the exam questions, so it's probably going to benefit you to come to those review sessions. If we get into a situation where people want to attend and they aren't, because of, or aren't able because of work schedules, things of that nature, I wouldn't mind doing a second one at a time that works for more people. So. I'll keep you posted of when those are going to happen. And if it doesn't work for your schedule, let me know and we might be able to find an alternative time. Also by WebEx, I'll be having office hours on Monday evening, Thursday evening, and Saturday morning. Uh, I know a lot of you are working and have different uh, scheduling things that you have to keep in mind. If absolutely none of those times Ever, ever work for you please let me know and we can schedule another time or we can go back and forth by WebEx one-on-one -on -one, email whatever we need to do all right this last point here at the bottom is important in the evenings on the weekends I usually don't check my email after 6 p.m. work a lot on the weekends I, I like kind of my my evenings to be family time this is important for you because you have lab assignments due on Sunday nights by midnight. Okay, so if you start your lab assignment at nine o'clock on Sunday evening and you run into questions and you send me an email at 10 o'clock on Sunday night, I can almost guarantee you won't get a response till Monday morning and that's after your due date. Okay, so at least look at the material before Sunday night so that way You'll realize if you have questions, you can let me know your questions before I turn off my phone for the night. 
And the last thing is the textbook. The textbook we're using is Anatomy and Physiology, The Unity of Form and Function. It's the eighth edition book by Saladin, published by McGraw-Hill. Uh, for a visual, it's got hands playing a piano, and you can see some of the ligaments and tendons and muscles in the hands. I'm hearing that there's some sort of problem at the bookstore, and the books may not have arrived yet. The problem is due to COVID-19 and problems with uh, supply chains. We should have those in by next week, is what we're being told. As a workaround, you can get a free two-week trial of the online version of the book, the ebook. So you can get that right now. Even if you don't have the physical book, you can still work in this class and not get behind. So that shouldn't be a problem for anyone preventing them from getting started. Last thing, in order to be successful in this class, what should you do? Guys, I've been teaching for a long time. I've seen a lot of not the most hardworking or super smartest people do really well in classes. And I've seen some extremely intelligent people fail classes. And it comes down to being organized. Really and truly, guys. If you don't already have one, I strongly recommend you get a calendar or a planner or you print a blank calendar off of you know, Google Images and you write down what the due dates are for the different lecture unit assignments and the weekly lab assignments and put the exam dates on there. That way you'll know what you're working towards. This class is going to go fast. Next thing that's really important, please read emails that I send you. Uh, again, I've taught for a long time. I get a lot of questions emailed to me that are already answered in an email. Okay, save yourself the time, save yourself the energy, read the emails I send you, most everything that you're going to need to figure out the logistics of when things are due will be in emails that I send you. Most things for lab, especially, are due on Sunday night, so don't wait until Sunday to start working on them. Work earlier. Successful students are going to use several different resources in preparing for exams. Here's my suggestion for you. I suggest the first thing you do is you watch the lecture videos that I make. They'll say made by Georgina. Watch them fast. The purpose is to get the general ideas of things, okay? You guys can hear a lot faster than I can speak, so there's no problem to speed them up and not, not bore yourself to death. Okay, once you have a general overview from the video, then start working through the assignments using your textbook to find all the individual uh, answers on the assignments. As you work through the assignments, try to stay curious. Try to read a bit more and understand a bit more than the assignment is asking for. If all you do is do like seek and find, I'm looking for this keyword, I'm looking for this one answer, you're gonna miss some of the big picture of the material. And that's gonna be important on the exams. And also if you go into a healthcare profession. And finally, there are study guides that were written by the publishers of the textbook that are available in D2L. And they are really good for making sure you haven't missed any key concepts. They are not graded, they're not going to be turned in. But if you're working on them and you run into any questions, let me know, send me an email or come to office hours and I'll be happy to answer any questions that are on there, even though they aren't graded. And last of all, when you run into a question, please send me an email. Please come to office hours, please come to the review sessions. Those are also going to help you to be successful in this class. So um, this semester, this summer term is, is shorter than a regular term. There's a lot to work through in only seven weeks. So this class may feel like a lot of work at moments. Um, we're going to work through it together. We're going to uh, stay organized. We're going to stay on track with getting assignments done and studying efficiently. 
to prepare for exams and please reach out to me if you have any questions at any time.